crowd. Whew. But God gave me that word as an encouragement while I was doing jumping exercises in a gym. And yes, I was the tallest person in the gym, and I usually am. King Saul was taller than all the people, and he was technically above the crowd, but I was the tallest person at the gym. I can also jump the highest, and so I leap. My head basically touches the ceiling. And God just gave me this word as an encouragement, above the crowd. And then the follow-up worshipful phrase, of course, Jesus was above the crowd. Jesus is above the crowd. God is above the crowd. <laughs> That's who the phrase belongs to more than anyone. Um, do the math on those. Jesus was above the crowd. That's 93 plus 24. Jesus was as to 117, and you can make a worshipful phrase. 117 plus above the crowd. That'll bump it up to um, 258, which divides by 3. For example, God is above the crowd. That um, bumps it up to um, 195, which divides by 3. Like, above the crowd. The word crowd divides by 3. The first three letters all divide by 3. And then D WD at the end is the perfect cube of 3. Like, Starting in the crowd starts with C, which is 3. And above starts with A plus B, which is 1 plus 2, which equals 3. It's a divine phrase, above the crowd. Like, it's just so inspiring, so perfect mathematically, it's so gorgeous. You know, what does crowd therefore add to? 63, which also divides by 9. So, love divides by 9. Above divides by 9. Crowd divides by 9. In fact, they go up in order. Above is 45. Crowd, or, pardon me, above is 45. Love is 54. Crowd is 63. Divine. Divine words. Do you see how every crowd that has ever existed in the history of the universe ultimately exists for the glory of Jesus who created all people? The glory of the Trinity is, is sitting in the very word crowd. It's also sitting in the word person. It's also sitting in the word human. It's also sitting, you know... In the word humanity, all those words divide by three. People divides by three. <laughs> human race divides by three. The human race divides by three. And on and on and on and on. Adam plus Eve divides by three. It's all for him. It's all for the Trinity. And it's all sitting there in grade one math. For every child on earth to know. <laughs> Young and old. Do you love her? That divides by three. That's a profound word. <laughs> Shockingly, I, I got the gem, the famous gem, the other day, driving down 200th. It hit me like a truck, a billboard, glowing in the night. It was dark out. I was on the way to my like morning paper route. In the middle of the dark, a bright sign, glowing in the night. It was one of those illuminated bus stop signs. What does it say? Will you marry me? Just showed up the other day. Boom, they just put up that ad. It's for a jewelry shop with a diamond ring. It's because Valentine's Day is coming up soon. Will you marry me? Adds perfectly to 210. With so many threes inside of it, it's not even funny. 210. 21 times 10, sevenfold set of threes. Three digits off that. We solved it the other day. Now I'm getting other romantic love phrases like, do you love her? I just get this from the Holy Ghost. I'm just like, write it down. <laughs> it's like, these are just amazing words. <sighs> Praise God. All right. In this video, we solved every single every single gray and white photo and art and work of art in the history of the universe and every single item on planet earth that uses these colors and every single work of art and photograph to the glory of eternity hallelujah divides by three awesome is pure threes all man equals 33